Hello, this is Dennis Fink, Technology Manager for Audio Products at Crestron Electronics. And we are here on the floor of Infocom 2016, uh, announcing our new digital signal processing product, the Avia DSP line. Uh, if you take a look over here, we have five new models. Each one is a 12-in analog line or mic input, eight analog output channels, and various models feature Dante connectivity, acoustic echo cancellation, uh, VoIP, POTS, and uh, USB connections. The top of the line model is the 1282, which has AEC and Dante. The 1281 uh, has AEC only. The next model is Dante only. And the 1280 has just analog I.O., 12 in, 8 out. There is an 8 analog input, 6 analog output product, the uh, DSP 860 for lower channel count uh, devices. All of these models are controllable by our new DSP tool, which features hybrid channel strip architecture. We have uh, signal processing and matrixing in all of those tools. We also feature direct export of UI elements to ease the design of touchscreen panels. And, and also, we have the ability to create channel strips for your custom in installations. And also, we have channel strips for our speakers so that the profiles for those speakers, the EQs and the limitings, are associated with those particular panels. I'd like to talk to you right now about our new DSP tool associated with that product. So let's take a look at that tool. We have a system page whereby you can look at every DSP on the network, as well as our new multi-channel amplifiers. To see the status of signal ins and outs of that DSP, you click on the product, the DSP in interest. You can see its VU meters for analog inputs and outputs. You can determine whether the routing is proper. If I have a no sound out of a particular channel, I can look here and see, oh goodness, somebody muted it, unmuted it, and get that output. I can also look at the inputs and see if I'm overdriving an A to D converter, go in, change its gain. So here we get a view of the entire signal integrity and routing for that DSP system. The next page over is the signal page, and it is here that you do the basic work within the DSP. You can click on any channel's digital signal processing object, opening up compressors, gates, equalizers. Here we're showing also the onboard spectrum analyzer where you can look at the room response, route a mic to the spectrum analyzer, put it up on the EQ that you're using to tune that room, and then see that when there's a peak, I drop a filter on it and equalize. It allows you to get a very close, rough EQ uh, for that particular room. We also have channel strips whereby to program this, we go to the channel strip page, this, the channel strip page, and here we, we create our own channel strip. So I can turn any filter into an EQ or a bypass, a limiter, duckers and the like, and save them to a collection of strips. These are saved as files. We will provide channel strips that are custom profiles for our loudspeakers, and you can create your own. If we go over to the strip page, then to program those, any channel strip that I create can be dragged over onto its channel wherever I'm using that microphone or that speaker. Lastly, we have export to the touch panels. Any control on the DSP can be dragged over to this export space, and those controls are available to VT Pro E, already tied to this particular DSP and that particular control. There's no dragging and dropping of IDs from various tools and the like. It's a simply drag and drop to the file. In VT Pro E, drag and drop to the compose and send the file out to the touch panel. And that's the new Avia DSP tool.